Hey guys, let's talk about the Dell Latitude 7490 BIOS settings. So to get into the BIOS, it's super simple. You just need to press the button to turn it on. And then you keep pressing the F2 key several times until you get into the BIOS, right? You just keep pressing that way, pushing, pushing, pushing until you see the BIOS loading up. So let's do it. Just press here to start up. And then when I see the, uh, the laptop is bringing up, I just keep pressing here, F2, F2, F2 until I see the message on the screen. There we go, right? And here you see everything about the BIOS. You start here with the general and then have system information. From here, you can have the service tag when you are about to download a BIOS firmware or something on the Dell website, you need this information, a service tag. And also when you contact Dell, here you have the BIOS version, memory. In this case, I have eight megabyte, eight, thousand megabytes or eight gigabytes per module, a total of 16 gigabytes here of RAM on my computer. And I also can check here the processor. I have an i5 processor and also the speed and everything else. The storage, right now you see that I don't have a SATA hard drive. I just have an M2 PCIe SSD. This is from Samsung and also can check the audio controller Wi-Fi and everything else. Let's say, for example, you would need a driver or something for your controller or your Wi-Fi. You can check which one you have here before you download, okay? So super simple here on battery information, you can check everything about battery. The battery is not working, for example. Instead of just checking on Windows, you can check here on the BIOS. I know right now, for example, the health is good and the adapter is 65 watts where it's good enough for this laptop, okay? You can also control the boot sequencing from here. See the Windows bootloader and the UEFI. That's the one that I go every time that I try to make it work here. If it's something different, like legacy external device, I just change here to UEFI to make it work. There are some uh, advanced options here for the, the boot and also for the UEFI. Date and time from here can just adjust in system configuration, there is a lot of options. See here, option about the network interface card, the SAT operation. Sometimes when your computer is not booting up, you just change here from RAID on to AHCI, and it works pretty fine, okay? Drivers also can check when you have SATA and a different one like I have here, M2 PCIe SSD. I can just select both because if I have any of them is going to work. So smart reporting, USB configuration, Dell C stock configuration. If you have like a docking station from Dell, you can just enable here to allow Dell docking station, which is pretty good. USB power share, audio. Sometimes your audio is not working for some reason, you can enable audio here. Let's say your Windows cannot see any audio device, just make sure that's enabled here on the BIOS. Keyboard elimination, if you can change here, bright, dim, or disable, right? I prefer to use bright like this. Keyboard backlight, uh, timeout. You see here that I have timeout for 10 seconds. So it's interesting here that I can control that. A keyboard backlight timeout on battery. Touch screen, when you have touch screen, and it's not my case, I don't have touch screen on this computer. And unobstructive mode, you can also control from here, and miscellaneous device, right? You can see here, I have to enable the camera, and digital card, or the card boot. You have an option to have a card here, like to secure my computer. So just make sure that I enable here if you, if you have it, right? Video, you can control from here also, there's LCD brightness. I have options for security. I can create password, and also, change here the TPMM 2.0 security. I can enable or disable here. And secure boot as well, you can control from here. Performance, just right here. I have an Intel multi-core support, Intel speed up. You can just enable for here, hyper thread control. If you're using hyper thread, like you're developing software or something and you just need hyper thread, you can control from here, enable or disable. You also have the Intel software guard extensions here. Power management. There we go. 
So you can just control the AC behavior. See, wake up on AC. You want to just connect AC to wake up your PC or your laptop. Out on time, you can control from here, USB wake up support, wireless radio control, wake up on, on LAN, interesting as well. And it can block the sleep and all other stuff related here to power management. The post behavior as well, when you boot your computer, you can just check here the post behavior, behavior for everything. Adapter warning, USB warning, keypad, non-lock, fast boot and everything else related to post behavior, okay? More option here, manageability. So you have Intel ATM capability, USB provision, and also virtualization support. If you work with virtualization, especially for our programmers, there we go, have options here. Wireless, you can just control here if you're using wireless, Bluetooth. Let's say your Bluetooth is not working on Windows, it's not available there, you need to come here to the BIOS and check if it's enabled here, or if it's for some reason you want to disable this so people cannot use it on Windows, you can come here and disable from here. Also, the WLAN, okay? Super simple. Maintenance, a service tag, you can just check here. When you're like talking to Dell or something, or you want to download specific drivers, you can have the service tag here. Asset tag, BIOS downgrade, you can uh, allow BIOS downgrade here if you need to downgrade the BIOS for some reason. I never do, but if you need to, you can just check here. Data wipe, let's say you're selling your computer, you're returning your computer, can allow data wipe here, right? On the next boot. BIOS recover as well. And system logs. If you're doing something with your computer, have the system log here from BIOS, thermal events and power events, okay? So super simple, okay? So basically that's the BIOS for this laptop. It's different from different laptops. In this case, I'm talking about the Dell Latitude 7490, okay? I hope that helps. Leave your comments here, subscribe to this channel, and I see you in the next one.